remember Ramble? The last time we saw him, he was drifting out to sea in his skiff after running out of fuel in a storm. Luckily, he was saved, but he has had enough of small boats and has decided to try his luck on a bigger boat and has got a job on a tuna longliner. We hope he has learned his lesson on keeping safe. Oh no, it looks like he still has a lot to learn. Rambo, I thought we had agreed you would be careful this trip. What's wrong, bro? I've been careful. I don't think you are. You are jumping on board in a careless manner. Many people get seriously injured doing this. All right. Let's get on with it. I feel a bit uneasy over here. See what I mean? At least it was only the deck you hit. You could have fallen between the ship and the wharf. Let's try that again, the correct way. Rambo. What? Do you think it is safe to stand there? Why not? That line is under a lot of strain. If the rope breaks, it could fly back and hit you. When a line is under load, always stand clear. Choose a position where, if it breaks, you cannot get hurt by the backlash. Good move, but you have just put your foot in it. What do you mean? Look where your foot is. You are standing in the bite of the rope. If the rope slips and the line went away over the side, it would take you with it. Okay, bro. Just trying to help. Be careful. I'm always careful. Be careful. Uh, I've been careful. Are you okay? My goodness, what have you done now? Just kidding. Very funny, Rambo, but it could have been for real. Let's do that again, the right way. It's dangerous carrying big loads where you cannot see where you are going. It's also not a good idea to carry a knife when you have other things in your hand. That's better, Rambo. And always be careful not to step into an open hatch or porthole. Hey, Rebel, get rid of that. Oh, 
Okay. No Rambo. Get rid of that. Oh, okay. No Rambo. Get rid of that. Make up your mind. What do you think, Rambo? Do you want to pollute the environment with plastics and other rubbish? Any tips here, bro? Do you see any difference between them and yourself? I'm better looking. They're ugly. Definitely not that, Rambo. Look at their heads. Even if it is uncomfortable, always wear a hard hat when working on deck where things could fall or broken parts could hit your head. Is that better? Remember what I said before. Always watch for lines with strain on them. If this line breaks under strain, the heavy lead swivel could be thrown like a slingshot. And what's more, watch for hooks or anything sharp. Oh yes. Another thing to look out for is your loose coat getting caught in the line or around the main line reel. Good one, Rambo. Watch it. What? Teeth. Some fish have razor sharp teeth and can cut you badly. Also, be careful with that knife. Where there is a lot of blood or fish slime, it is very easy for your hand to slip down the blade and cut yourself. I knew that. <laughs> Come back, Rambo. Who left that rail out? I did. Well, put it back in place, or some idiot will end up falling over the side. I'm getting tired of this. Is there anywhere safe on this ship? Not if you don't take care. Remember, you must look after not only your own safety, but the safety of others. There are risks, even in this galley. What? That stove, for example. It is butane gas, which is highly explosive if there is a leak. The stove must be turned off carefully, and preferably at the bottle itself. Some things are inflammable, especially oil. What do you mean by that? Look behind you. I'm ready for anything now. Never run on the ship. Remember, 
the decks can be very slippery around places where there is hydraulic oil or fish slime. Had a busy day? Ready for bed? That looks a bit dangerous. It is a bit overloaded and could get hot and cause a fire. Good night. No smoking in bed. No smoking in bed. So never mind. What you gonna do? No smoking in bed. Wake up, Rambo. Wake up. Wake up, Rambo. Wake up. It has been a long trip. Have you learned a lot about safety this trip, Rambo? I'm sure I have. But will you remember it? Oh, I think so. But if not, I got this book. It shows some mistakes I made and a few more. See here, I am standing wrongly in the bite of the rope. This shows me stupidly carrying a knife while carrying a load. Here I am spoiling our marine life by throwing rubbish overboard. Now I know, it's dangerous wearing loose clothing when on board. Here I am looking like an idiot falling overboard because I didn't put the railing board back. This shows me not taking care while cooking in the galley. Gee. I really hurt myself when I fell running on the deck. And here is when I could have burned the ship down by smoking in bed. But I didn't do everything wrong. This book has also given me some other tips of being safe on board. Congratulations, Rambo. You have done well. How are you going to spend your leave? I'm going to leave it up and maybe do some fishing ashore. 